Welcome back to All in Law. This is Quick Pediatrics, and today's topic of discuss discussion is Osgood Schlatter disease (OSD). Osgood was an orthopedic surgeon from USA, and Schlatter was uh, what he call a Swiss. Okay, is a surgeon from a Swiss, right? Uh, so let's talk about this briefly. Osgood Schlatter disease. Okay, it's what you call, um, you know very well, you have a patella, you have it, this is a knee joint, okay, knee joint, I'm not able to draw it correctly, I don't know. Then we have a tubercle over here, and this, this is what, repeated traction of this tibial tuberosity over the patella due to the quadricep contraction, quadricep muscle contraction, okay. It leads to fragmentation of what you call tibial tubercle and this results in osgood schlatter disease. There is an inflammation, swelling around it and that is known as osgood schlatter disease. So it's a benign self-limited extra-articular disease, okay. The, what is the cause for this, as I said, is a traction epiphysitis, traction epiphysitis, epiphysitis. Okay, chronic microtrauma to the tibial tuberosity, secondary to the overuse of, as I said, cordyceps muscles, especially seen in the age group of 11 to 18 years because they are very sporty. Okay, jumping here and there. Okay, that's why you see this disease in uh, adolescent age group from 11 to 18 years of age. Okay, so rapid skeletal growth will be there. Okay, involvement of a repeated jumping sports. That could be a risk factor for that, this disease, okay. So what are the signs and symptoms? Clinical features. The patients will have one you call is a, as you know, if this is a patella and this is tubercle, it is attached over here, right. So there will be what you call knee pain. Knee pain, but remember the examination of the knee can be normal extension, abduction, adduction, right? And But remember, reproduce by extending the knee against resistance. Against the resistance, the patient can have what you call pain, okay? Right, tuber, and then they, they can be tibial tuberosity swelling. Okay, tibial tuberosity swelling and absence of effusion or condylar tenderness. If there's a condylar, there's no what you call um, Tenderness, remember. No tenderness, okay. No condylar tenderness or effusion. How do you diagnose that? Diagnosis is a clinical. Look at the age of the patient, okay. And uh, try to look for the clinical history, physical examination. And uh, if you take an x ray, they shows a fragmentation of tibial tubercle. Tibial tubercle, okay. Tibial tubercle, fragmentation of tibial tubercle. Remember. Okay, how do you treat it? What's the treatment? Treatment is remember one is rest. Advise the patient to rest and restriction of activities as tolerated. Okay. Restriction of the activities. Knee immobilizer only for severe cases. If the case is very severe, is in severe pain, knee immobilizer can be given. Knee immobilizer. Sorry, immobilizer. Okay, Im knee immobilizer. Okay, that's it. And you know wh why it happens to adolescent because of the growing, uh, what do you call, um, centers like right bone centers because of this epiphyseal growth. That's why this patient can. Uh, this is that's why it's seen in adolescent patients. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.